Alabama came from 15 down on the road, uh, 17 minutes left in the game, outscored Houston 42 to 21, one of the best defensive teams in the country, one of the toughest teams that we've seen in college basketball, basically kicked their ass over the last 15 minutes with four freshmen on the floor. They are today the best team in the SEC, John Henson, true or false? I'm going to go false. I mean, we need to see a little more. Um, they played well. I actually, when I was watching the game, I kind of like tuned out a little bit. It looked like Houston had it in control. Um, and, and, but I, I don't, I think, you know, they got a little more work to do. I, I really like Tennessee, especially defensively. Um, they're, they're, they're on another level, man. So let me see, you know, four freshmen, it's going to be up and down season for them. I did the exact same thing you did, by the way, John, when it, it got to 44, 29 i think someone yeah. called a timeout or there was a break and i walked to the yeah. kitchen i like i got a, yep. a new bowl of snacks and I, I got a i got a new seltzer and i come back and it's like an eight point game. i'm like well what just happened i got i got an update on my phone i like i'm gonna hold on i had to turn it back you know what i'm saying so <laughs> it was uh that was a good game on your 50 uh your 100 inch tv that uh <laughs> that has four different four different I, I, tvs I, I, on I, I, that I one time back. <laughs> hey i'm gonna support the young guys man I, listen i like tennessee as well i like the experience of tennessee but what's missing from Alabama's team? I mean, the guard play is strong. I mean, you got a freaky McDonald's All-American point guard coming off your bench that I thought was the biggest factor in them winning the Houston game. Uh, you know, again, the biggest thing about them that I like in that matchup, if, if we're just comparing those two teams, they rebound the hell out of the ball because they did that against Houston. We thought Houston would try to punk them on the glass. They didn't. They responded well. They, they make shots, man. Them dudes are shooting the hell out of the ball. They're shooting it over. They make about 11, 12 threes at night. That's tough. And that, and that contradicts because Tennessee's playing that big style. So it'll be a style versus fight. The, the two bigs versus that, the way Alabama wants to play, shooting, clipping threes, man. So I, I, I'm i not big on – if I had to pick it again, I'm going to go with Alabama. I just like what I've seen from them playing away. I, I, I'm going to lean that way. I, I, I know what tech Tennessee is. We know what Rick Barnes is. Hell, I almost committed to play for him. I'm a – Huge fan of his, but right now I'm gonna go with the young guy. John, didn't you almost commit to him too? I almost committed to Texas too. I like Rick too, man. So yeah, I, he was. I, but see, he was at pro, he was so far back. He was well before Texas yeah. for me. But <laughs> yeah. he's a hell of a guy. I, I loved him. I, I it was just he was just a little too far from me from being from home. But he's been doing it for a long time, and and, and just a great guy, and, and and actually won in Texas as well. But he's 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 a hard. He's, hard to go against but Oaks got Alabama rolling man and I can't go mm -hmm. against them right now you know what was so impressive to me about that game and I, I want both of you guys take on this because you've played uh um played at very high levels John you've played a long time in the NBA um RC you coached for a long time so you know, understand the dynamics of a college locker room Javon Quinterly former McDonald's All-American yes. um guy that came into Alabama with uh with a lot of expectations uh had a coming off of a torn ACL um, came into this season, got a starting job back. And at the end of this game, he didn't play in the second half. He didn't play one second in the second half. And what he did was he sat on that bench and he said, Nate, do not take Jaden Bradley out of the game. He's kicking their ass. Do not take him out. Let him go play. Let him make the difference. He's doing everything that we need to do to win this game. And I think that when you have, when you have that dynamic on a roster, John, it, it changes everything, right? When you don't have guys worried about shots, when your star players who may or may not have the biggest egos on the team end up being the ones that will sacrifice their minutes and sacrifice their shots like that, that changes everything, right? Yeah. It's, it's the culture that that's just a culture thing. You know, NATO has instilled that in, you know, them obviously with winning is most important um, and anything else, it doesn't even matter. And for him to, to be that mature, um, that actually gives me a little more confidence that they might be the best team in the SEC, yeah, right? No, no, like, no, no, you know, no, 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 like, you know, like, it's a good score. It's a guy like that's good. So, no, nah, I love that, man. And and I still think Quiverly has a chance to be a pro. And I think just that story like that is just going to add to his potential as, as, you know, being a team player, being a point guard. And uh, I love that, man, especially in college. I love it. He'll get better and better, too, as he recovers, as he distances yep. himself further with rehab going down the line from that ACL, you know, surgery, which is credit to him. He got back as quick as he did because, it's not, you know, he, he he didn't tear that a year ago. I mean, he's months into that rehab and, and still rehabbing it. So as he gets better, get, if that leg gets stronger, he gets more confidence in it, then his team will even be even better. Yeah, it's, it's, he's dynamic. He's talented. He's uh, He can make plays off the bounce. Um, all right. You teased it a little bit, RC. You mentioned Tennessee. Uh, they – Beat 
Maryland, 56 to 53 on Sunday afternoon in what was probably the ugliest college basketball game I think that I've ever seen in my entire life. Maryland was three for 24 from the floor in the first half. Uh, John, we actually, if you remember talking about how uh, how they were running Spain pick and roll at uh, uh, Texas was in yeah. at Jimmy V. Maryland, mm-hmm. second half, about eight straight possessions ran that Spain pick and roll, and that's the way yeah. that they were able to loosen up that defense. Uh, 